on behalf of Intuitive Machines. What a proud day for us today. Thank you for being here for the announcement of yet another big day for Space City. They're going to the moon with a purpose. Congratulations, Steve, to you and your team at Intuitive Machines. Back in 2012, I had the idea for a think tank company. I remember I was in um, Washington, D.C. with Dr. Cam Gaffarian. We were at a local restaurant when he pointedly asked me, Steve, what are you passionate about? So I started scribbling on a napkin and I said, you know, I have this idea to take what we've learned in NASA human spaceflight uh, methodologies and of engineering and apply it to solving some of the more intractable problems around the world. And he paused for a moment and he said, Steve, it would be a shame for the music in your head never to be played. Let's do it. And that's how the company was formed. That's how the partnership was formed. And that's why we're here today. The Commercial Lunar Payload Service Program has been a catalyst for us, has given us the opportunity to be the first commercial company to land on the moon. When that spacecraft touches down on the moon, our city will cheer and celebrate like no other city in the United States. We take that responsibility absolutely seriously at Intuitive Machines. Watching success after success, we have learned never to be surprised about the next major announcement coming out of Intuitive Machines. Right now, we're eight months or so away from launching our first mission to the moon and 18 months from our second mission, which will make Intuitive Machines the first to ever land on the south pole of the moon, drill for water ice on the moon, hop or explore uncharted areas of the moon in permanently shadowed craters, and actually use cellular technology for the first time on the moon. The demand for achieving all of these feats, remarkable feats, has stretched the limits of our facility here. And it's not just the fact that they're gonna have 125,000 square feet, it's what they're gonna be doing within that 125,000 square feet. I'd say from a napkin in 2012, to moving to the spaceport in 2018, and our new home starting today, we grew up as a company with Spaceport Houston. We continue to grow as Spaceport Houston grows. We choose to be here, partnering with the city, Houston Airport System, San Jacinto College, because this is our home, a place we're surrounded by family and friends, and people of true grit, whether it's a flood, a pandemic, or a challenge of going to the moon, Space City doesn't back down from a challenge. So this building represents intuitive machines accepting humanity's greatest challenges. Thank you very much.